Hey guys, today I'm going to discuss with you about methods in Java. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to share with you the simple slide. In Java, we call it method, and in some other language like PHP, we call it functions. So sometimes we have a piece of code that we need to recall that again and again. So instead of retyping that code again and again, we put that piece of code in a method and we call that method again and again. So it helps us a lot instead of retyping. So it means uh, we use it a lot. So like it means here in this uh, car, we have certain functionalities like a car lock and unlock. So that is a method in this code, in the code that we have in the car or functionality, then we call that piece of code or functionality or method. For example, we call it using lock or unlock buttons. So whenever we press lock button, the functionality that is uh, responsible to lock the car is invoked. Or once we use unlock, so a functionality that unlocks that, fun that feature, that is invoked. So we have function or methods and machines and then we invoke them or call them, all right? So let's see in, in Java. Let's go to Eclipse and Java program. Let's call it methods demo. Okay, and create a class. Okay methods class all right so if we see in this public methods class uh, we already have one method called man usually a method has a name and a parenthesis like this so like we have main method okay now we want to display something, okay? And uh, we will display that many, many times. For example, I just display, I want to display five and I want to do it many, many times. So what is my option? One way is system.out.println and I print five here. Okay, it will work, All right? So I can see five but I want to print this many times, let's say three times and it works, okay. Or if I want to print this 50 times, what should I do? I should copy paste these things again and again, right? Copy, paste, copy, paste and so on. So my code is like getting messy, right? It's too many things. If I keep continuing, what is this? This is too much, right? So it's not nice idea, although it's working fine, but this is not smart coding. So what we will do, because I know I will be using this one many, many times. So instead of copy pasting so many times, I just put this thing in a method and then call it. So method is like a small piece in a big machine and that piece is doing its function, okay? So let's delete everything everything so for that one i need to create that piece okay and let's call that public static void show well show value and method will have a name and parenthesis all right so what i want this method to do i want this method to show five so how do we show in normal uh, Java program system dot out dot print ln show five. All right. So when I run this, nothing happens in console. Why? I have a function or feature, but I have not invoked it yet. I have not called it yet. So I must invoke it. So I go to the main method and one thing that new programmers, they make mistake that they create this uh, method. This is called body of the method or impl method implementation. 
or metric definition, they put this thing within inside main method. This is error. You cannot have a body of a method within the body of another method. This method body must be outside of this method and means this curly brace is the body of main and new method must be outside. Okay. Uh, okay, if I have another method, for example, show val one, I must have that one outside. So in this case, we have three methods, main method, show val method, and show val one method, for example. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. Now, again, I run this, nothing happens because function is there, but function need to be called. So what is the function name? Show val or method name. So I just need to type here show val exact name. It's case sensitive. Show val. All right. Save it. There we go. Okay. So now it is uh, uh, possible. I want to call it many times. What I need to do? I just need to call this method several times, three times, wherever I want to do. Okay, it's printing. Okay, yes, we still have few lines, but this is a much cleaner version. And also notice if I want to print more here, uh, I want to print five, okay, and uh, 10, and also 15, and also 20, and 25. Okay, so now so many. <clears throat> And I want to print these things three times. In my normal code, I should cut this in my normal. If I don't have this thing, let me cut this one. Okay. And this is one time I'm putting each value. I need it five times. So what should I do? Same thing. Copy, write, copy five times. Huh? This one. One, two, eight, two three, four, five. This is messy. A lot. Right? So this is not a smart coding idea. So what we will do, we say, uh, put this thing in, in the method because I will want to print these five lines five times or maybe 100 times. So I don't need to type them again and again and again. We have typed them once in this method, but we need to call them five times. Okay, no problem. Okay, so just that. We are done. Okay, save it, run it. Okay, see, many, 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 many times we are calling this. Okay, so <clears throat> this is much better than the uh, other things, uh, like copy pasting the whole lines five times. Now, next, uh, a method, we can pass value to a method. Okay, I want to pass value like for example, for example, I want to pass a value to this method. I want to change it. Okay, just one statement. And uh, let's keep it five times. I want to five, then 10, then 20, then 25. Okay, then 30, for example. Okay, now you we are passing a few values to this method. Whenever you pass this value to a method, you should receive it here. And it should be the same data type that we have. Five, what is data type of five? It's number. So it's integer value. So I can say int num. Now num here, it's getting five. In this line number six, in my case, five is coming to num and I can put that num here five will be printed. Then next time, 10, 10 will come and 10 will be printed. 20 will come, 25, 30, and so on. So let's see. All right, cool. Five, 10, 20, 25, 30, they are printed. So we are receiving value and we are printing it here. Okay. So uh, this is uh, receiving. Can we send more values? No problem. 
uh, what value we want to pass. We want to pass char, although we can pass uh, num again, and let's call it ch. Now you see this one is receiving two parameters, but here we are sending one. So it is asking, hey, you are sending me five, but you are not sending me a character. Send me a character. So I say, okay, no problem, A. Same thing, second time calling the same method. So I say, okay, this is B and this is C and this is D and this is E. Values, you want to send two values, each value must be separated by a comma. If it is character, it should have this single quote. If number, no quotes. All right. Okay, so we're getting character. I want to display character as well. So I say, okay, at this time, in the new line, print ch character, whatever is coming. All right, good. 5a, 5a, 10b, okay, 10b, and so on. Continue. 30e. Okay, can we pass? Uh, <clears throat> A string, as you know, string is in quotes. In this case, we call it double quotes. Okay, let's say here I want to pass John. Notice separated by a comma. Return. Okay, we write my name, Gani Imran, and Gani. And let's also pass IUP. Notice. If without quotes, it's error. Okay, if single quotes, so still error because it has one, more than one characters. Okay, it must be double quote. Now, <clears throat> we are sending three values, but here we are receiving two values. So we should have the third one. So that is string, let's call it str, like string. What do I want to do? I want to print that one also. So copy paste this one and let's call it str. Save it, run it. 5a John, 5a John, okay. 10b Peter, 10b Peter. And last one, 30e IUP, 30e IUP, okay. Now this method, can also return a value to the calling method. Okay, uh, let's make it very simple now. I want to delete this. Okay, just one value, just for simplicity purpose. So we are sending 5a John, let's run 5a John. Now we say, okay, five, what we are getting, make it six and return it, okay. So what we say, return it, return to the calling method. Okay, so what we do is we say, okay, so this show value should increment this five and make it six first. So how to do? After printing all this, I say, this is the value it is getting, five is coming here. So I say, okay, num plus plus, okay num is <clears throat> now six. Now we can say return num. Now when I say return num, this void is saying that you will not return anything. Void mean this method will not return, but I am having this keyword return. So it is conflicting with this one that void said I will not return, but you are saying you are returning one integer value. Num is integer right here. So I say, yeah, I want to return, so integer. Without num again, just data type. So now we are good. By the way, this return num, I don't need to do this one in a separate line. I can do return plus plus here, okay? Now integer value, which is six is being uh, return, return where, which line, to line number six, because this was the call. So return will also go back to line number six. What is returning? It's returning six. Do we see return six? Let's see. 
no, I don't see when I run, I just see five a John and that is here, five a John. So where is six? I'm returning six. So it's not there because on this line, I must receive it, catch it. That is coming from here. So what is coming from here? Integer value is coming. So I say int, let's say num one. So this num one is getting that integer value which is coming from here, num, which is six. Okay, by the way, I can also make it num because this num is not that num, is two different variables. But just to differentiate, num one is getting six. Now I want to print it, system.out.print ln, and here we go. It's a num one. Now let's see. 5a john 5. Okay, now you see one small thing, what's happening? Why it's not six? Because when we do this one, so this is, uh, be careful about this part. So it's increasing num one, uh, num five to six, but this happens, this increment happens after the semicolon. Once this statement is executed, so once we return, we are still returning five because increment happens after this. This is a function in Java, but I want to put six. So what should I do? Like this. This is pre-increment. So pre-increment first. If you do post-increment, like this is post-increment, it will happen after this. And five is already returned, already returned. So nine, plus plus num is six now, okay. Now it's six, okay. Five a John is five a John printing here. We are sending six back and we receive six and we want to print it here. So what can I send back? Can I send back string also? Okay, uh, yes, sure. But in this case, you cannot have like return after return. If you want to return string or you want to return char, okay, let's say I want to return this string, but it's error because on this line, it has already gone back. Once you have returned, it is not going to execute anything underneath. So you can usually return one value. By the way, if you are familiar with array, you can return array also, okay, but in this case, you can't return values one after the other okay so in this case we can only return this one but if i want to return string so this is my variable string right uh, so i must tell this method that hey i am going to return string so when i return string i must receive string not integer so i say oh okay string and here because a string I said string one and print string one, which will print the same thing, John, huh? because we did not change anything. So John, John two times. Okay, first John is being printed here, line number 14. And on this line, John is going back. We take it back and we show it here. Okay, same thing we can use with character or so on. All right, so these are uh, about um, methods. Okay, see you in my next video.